Hi everybody, my name's Steve Lewis Branagh. Last year on my 50th birthday, I took on a personal challenge in running a million meters, or in other words, a thousand kilometers. And when I told people that I was doing it, they asked me if I was doing it for charity, which I wasn't, it was just a personal thing. It planted the seed, however, and having completed that, I decided I would do something else for charity, in this case, for Cancer Research UK. What I've decided to do is ride an exercise cycle, and rather than just go a million metres, I thought I'd do something more challenging. Rather than a thousand kilometres, I thought about what would be a challenge that would inspire people to want to support the cause that I'm trying to raise some money for, and, and hopefully would get them interested enough to, uh, to donate and help cancer research achieve their goals. What I've decided to do is cycle the circumference of the world. That's 40,075 kilometers. To do that, I'm gonna to have to cycle for the best part of two months solid. It's nearly 56 days worth of cycling, uh, which I'm doing around about, obviously, family life and my job and work and, and so on. So I'm doing it in sessions. I'm trying to cycle at least five days out of every seven. And I'm trying to cycle a minimum of 25 kilometers each time possibly going up as far as 50 kilometers, which I'm going to do today. I'll show you the bike that I'm going to be riding. As you can see, I've got cancer research uh, items on the table there, which is to remind everybody, please sponsor me if you can do and you're able to. That would, would be fantastic. I've got a Just Giving page, which I'll give details of at the end of this video. Here's the bike itself. The bike, as you can see, is set at the moment on zero on the timer. I'm gonna cycle for the best part of about 95 to 100 minutes. That's nearly one and three quarter hours. I'm gonna burn something in the region of 450 calories, hence the two bottles of juice that you'll see on the table there to help me replace the fluids as I go. I'm gonna get rather hot. And I'm gonna uh, cover a distance, as I say, of around about 50 kilometers. And you'll see that will nip to the uh, odometer and the speedo and so on as I work my way through. I'm going to be cycling about a pace of something in the region of about 30 to 35 kilometers an hour. Okay, towel at the ready then. I'm going to get myself on the bike. I'll get started and you'll join me a little bit later on to see how I'm getting on. All right, this is challenging me. It is pushing me. It is working me hard and I'd appreciate any support you keep giving me. See you soon. join me I'm about a quarter of the way through uh, it's warm <laughs> I'm starting to, uh, to sweat quite uh, aggressively uh, but that's normal on the way through I'm maintaining my pace working my way through if you want to come here I'll show you the bike and show you where we're up to so far so I've currently been cycling for 27 minutes my speed it's still around the 34, 35, 36 kilometers an hour mark. I've covered a distance so far of 15.6 kilometers. And I've burnt so far 140, just gone up to 141 calories. So I'll see you again shortly when I reach the halfway point. Okay, so you're rejoining me 20 or so minutes later. I'm just at the halfway point or so. I've currently been cycling. I'll show you this on the, uh, on the screen here. Currently been cycling for 46 minutes. Still maintaining an average pace around 35, 36 kilometers an hour. And I've now covered a distance of 26, nearly 0.9 kilometers. So moving well. Burned so far 241 calories, hence the sweat that you no doubt can see on my hands. The fact that my t-shirt is changing color, it's no longer the beautiful new bright blue t-shirt it was before and it's only gonna get worse. And uh, the juice is starting to disappear. I'll get you back as we get to three quarters.
just to let you know, this is me coming towards the end of the cycling. I haven't given you any updates since halfway. So if you want to come in and have a look at the clock, you'll see that I'm just completing my 50th kilometre. Uh, as you can probably tell by my face, my arms, the floor, I'm hot. The juice has gone in and I think I might be a bit of a colander. The juice has come out again. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm doing what it takes to succeed to make sure that I achieve cycling around the world and completing the 40,075 kilometers. If you can and you're able to and you would like to, please support me. Donate via the Just Giving page and give money to Cancer Research UK to help them fight the fight against cancer. That's 50 kilometers. If you want to come in and just catch the screen, 50 kilometers completed. Just coming up to 450 calories, most of which is pouring out of my body, I think, at the moment. And I actually did this one quite quick, quite fast, 87 minutes on the bike to achieve it. With an average speed of around about 35, 36 kilometers an hour. That's not unusual, that's every time I ride the bike. Please do what you can to support Cancer Research UK. Thanks for watching.